Welcome to the dark forest. Jackie and her pals will never bore us. Shameless confessions about our obsession will make us laugh and smile. So let's explore the dark forest and dark down for a while. Hello and welcome to the dark forest. Let's try to knock this intro out in less than four freaking minutes. I'm Jackie Cation, JackieCation.com, DorkForest.com. Those are the websites. Let's do the credits. Mike Rickberg sang and composed the song you just heard. He'll sing again his words to the Mexican hat dance at the end of the program. Sarah Cohen sings with him. Patrick Brady's going to fix this audio. Vilmos does my website, JackieCation.com. There are many ways to support the show. Basic one, PayPal button. You click on it, you send me some money. Good for you. There's also, you can Venmo me at Jackie at JackieCation.com. You can use the Amazon banner. There's a link on JackieCation.com and DorkForest.com that sends you to Amazon. You just order like normal. Doesn't cost you extra. It's just a way to support the show. Another way is to get merch. JackieCation.com has a merch page. A lot of Dork Forest stuff, a lot of stand-up comedy stuff. Also on the website, stand-up comedy calendar. Tells you where I'm going to be. This week... I'm going to Waukegan, Illinois with Maria Bamford on Saturday, April 7th. So this goes up the 3rd. So I'll be in Waukegan, Illinois on Saturday, April 7th. Feel free to come and find me there. There's premium episodes. The premium episodes are at thedorkforest.bandcamp.com and they cost two bucks a pop. The YouTube page is hopping. There's a YouTube page that has essentially the teaser clips and the full episodes now. And if you can't get iTunes or whatever at work, you can listen to the show in the background on YouTube. Let's get into the show. Hey, it's Jackie Cation. I'm on the Joko Cruise. But get this. I'm with Jean Grey, you guys. Jean Grey, uh, welcome to the program. Hi, I'm very happy to be doing this. We're it's, on a boat. We're on a boat outside of Cabo San Lucas, <laughs> uh, where a golden opportunity for ashtrays and sombreros uh, and, awaits me this day. And yelling. And yelling. You think there's going to be yelling? I think there might. There's always a woo. <laughs> there is always, always a woo. There's always a woo. Gene Gray is a musician, you guys, and it's at Gene Greasy. That's right. J E A N G R E A S Y. Mm-hmm. And uh, she knows about the X Men, so calm down. Yeah, don't okay. tell me. Don't tell me. So, March 30th, you have a new album out called yes. Everything's Fine yes. with Quale. Yes. And. Um, and so people could follow you on Twitter and they find out me. more about that. Yes. And then, or they could just... They could Google it. They can type it into a search engine. Google. How do you spell... Th- oh, interesting. That's a, a G- GF... Oh, it, it, G- good, good. I don't know. Type it in Type in Google how to spell Google. It's, right. Yeah. Look up how to spell Google. Look it up. Everything's fine. March 30th. And Jean Grey, G-R-A-E is how Grey is spelled. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Uh, let us discuss how loud <laughs> the people are that are cleaning this... Uh, the cruise ship are. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> Let us discuss. We're just going to talk about the sound of ice pouring. Exactly. For 45 exactly. minutes. Exactly. Ice. <laughs> so uh, talk to me briefly yeah. about. you. I asked what you wanted to dork out about, and you said IKEA. I said IKEA. <laughs> Why? What's happening? What's what's happening about a large? That's, that's your. It's it's such a nice friend question. Yes. Like when you know a friend is having a problem and you sit them down and you're like, listen, man, what's what's happening what's with happening that? With that? <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you? And why are you willing to carry a large blue bag? Why are you doing that? I following okay. arrows on the ground. <sighs> well, l- let me say that I. Oh, I almost threw out all the blue bags in the house. Oh. I feel like we had gotten to uh, eight or nine, <laughs> eight or nine of them. And then there had to be a section made. Um, thankfully, in New York, we have an extra closet, which I've never had. Which You is, have an extra closet in New York? We have an extra closet. Wow. Things and are going well, Jean we, Grey. Things are going pretty well. That's mm-hmm. how you know you're doing well. <laughs> and we put, when ice is pouring and you've got an extra closet, things are going well. Um, and so we just put our cleaning products in there and like toilet paper and paper towels. But we had to make a section strictly for uh, the the piling up of IKEA bags that was happening oh, interesting. because you can't store them under the sink. They're, no, they're very too large. Big. They're, they're too big. Right. And even if you rolled them up small, it's still too big. Still there's not big. a New York apartment in the world that's big enough no. for under the sink IKEA bag storage. No. Yeah. No. So, uh, let us have a small moment yes. while Andy Ashcraft Matter of fact, it's let kind us have of a, a long moment. Let's have a long moment. 
Excellent. Yes. My ad, my ad, my ad. We're about to do an ad. Uh, This week, the ad is for Secret Deodorant. There's a new active deodorant for women made by Secret. Remember the old ad for Secret? It was strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Well, Secret is still making deodorant for women. But this one's called Secret Active, and it's activated by activity. Yes, activated by activity. So it's designed to work when you're moving around a lot, or in my case, when I'm sweating a lot, which is when I'm telling jokes on stage. So it could be fitness. It could, it's, it works perfectly fine. What I like about it is that I looked at the ingredients. They are very simple ingredients. Uh, this thing is activated by moving around a lot. It could be working out, but it doesn't have to be. Most of us are moving around during the day at some point to do something. And it's designed with long-lasting scents, which provide sort of a constant reassurance that it's working. So you smell good when you are moving around. So you could pick some up today at your local retailer. You can go to secret.com to get more information about Secret. Now, let's get back into the show it's days later rangers we're all dead (laughs) (laughs) we uh we have left the the town of la paz cabo loretto Mm -hmm. la paz we're heading back to san diego still talking to jean gray yep still the same episode last we heard you were storing ikea bags (laughs) in a in a in an unused that's what everyone says to me when they see me after a long time last hey jean last we heard you were storing ikea bags (laughs) Yes, in your please. extra closet. What's what have you been up to? And I'm like, still the same. What do you think of the arrows on the on the, on the floor? We're going right to it. Going I'm, right I'm, to it. I'm jumping right in. <sighs> I don't know. It doesn't help. It doesn't it help. It doesn't help. No, it, it never helps. You have to. Okay. I used to. I used to have a plan. Uh, when uh, I had like uh, for for five solid years, I had a good plan. Wow. And my plan was uh, make a to go drink at home. Okay. Um, and, and, uh, like, pack a lunch. Pack, no, no. Oh. No, eat lunch there. Oh, right, because they have the thing. They have the terrible thing, which is also one of those things, like, we're on a, we're on a boat, and, like, there's things you would eat on this boat that you would never put in your mouth. Not mm-hmm. even, like, uh, it just put in your mouth and hold in your mouth. <laughs> like, I, there's a lot of stuff I would never do. But that are I'm, happening here. That are happening here. And Ikea is the same way. Okay. You're like, if someone gave me this at their home, I would throw it on the floor and be like, what's wrong with you? You need some help. <laughs> right. Why are you doing this? And yet, when introduced... I look forward to it. I look forward to those stupid meatballs and their stupid lingonberry Let's do sauce. the plan. To-go cup. And to-go cup. Um, so I'm there. And, uh, and I wait until about... Uh, an hour and a half in um, to take my, my second big gulp to calm me down. Okay. Um, but I, I my, my plan was to be okay to, mi- to make sure that I could make it through all of the rooms. So don't do any shortcuts. Oh. Don't do any of that. Kind of a challenge to myself. And let me tell you, this plan didn't work any single time Ever. that I went Five there. years. And any time. By hour two is when my nervous breakdown would start. See, yeah, this is this is this is a commitment. <laughs> You're spending two hours at an IKEA. You're oh, starting. No, no, no. no, this is this is hour two. I'm there for at least five hours or so. Five hours. Four to, four to five hours. Day of the week. What day of the week are you going to an IKEA? This is the good. This is the only good thing. Okay. That I can be there any day of the week. So, of course, not the weekend. Not a weekend. that would be insane. That would be a I, death knell. Yeah. I think yeah. that was the first time I went to IKEA. Um, and it was on a Sunday. And I watched, I watched marriages fall apart. I watched... <laughs> Children were murdered. Right. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, a, so so not here. On a Sunday. On right a Sunday. after church, let's go kill each other. Yeah. At IKEA is what people think. And and it, and you you can see it on their faces. Yeah. You see that they know and like sometimes and you can tell like who's in new relationships because they look so excited. They're like, and they're like what about this vibe? You like this pillow vibe? And it's like, I don't know, like whatever you like, babe. And oh. she's like, I got it. Let's get the pillow. It's going to be so great. It's the first apartment oh. together. And you just want to kill them. Yeah. Um, it's, but I, I, I love all of it. 
I I love anything that's like making home. Any of the okay. the tools to be like I can take these things. This will make a cozy space. This will make a cozy space. And then I got into the idea of IKEA hacks. Um, what? Which is a huge thing. Which is you buy you know all of these IKEA pieces that just look like stupid IKEA pieces, right? And then you transform them yourselves. So, you know, you you take oh, off. You craft. You craft around uh, IKEA yeah. items. Yes, and so then that became my big deal. What is an uh, example of an item purchased at Ikea, repurposed in your own home? Oh, the, 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 the Vitz Joe? The Vitz Joe? Vitz Joe? <laughs> the Vitz Joe? Okay. Um, so it's like a, a, a laptop table. Okay. So it's just uh, <laughs> uh, metal at the bottom and, yep. uh, and then it's got a glass top. So take the glass top off and it's $15. Okay. So take the glass top off, uh, uh, gold spray paint the bottom, the bottom metal. Of oh, the metal. And uh, go to Home Depot. Yeah. Uh, measure out a piece of wood, stained it, lacquered it, put that on the top. Very expensive looking table. I love them. Here's another introduction to a large store where no help is available. Listen. Home Depot. Listen. I have been. To I and I also love Home Depot, right? And I used to also have to pack a to-go beverage for there because it is the Brooklyn location. The br- okay, my God, there's there no is help in the absence of, those. of God. The absence of God is, is the only way I can describe it. There is it. no God. Yes, it the is. The fact that those two stores exist, and let me, I so many people work there. So but, many, but clearly. Nobody works there. Nobody works there. No one can help you. And so you go, f- it's sort of like space. It is like space. You're, you're an floating. explorer. You're, you're exploring and floating. You walk into a place yeah. where things are on shelves. Can you hear how my voice has gotten? Yes. You're, this it's, celebration. is an experience. This is a self, this is, it's like a, it, it's like a self-realization or an actualization and, or a, a, a self-reliance that I've uh, never... I think of you myself. watch people. Sometimes you'll you'll go down an aisle and you just see that someone's kind of. Oh, my favorite is going by because I'm in uh, I'm I'm in the getting weight to to get lumber cut aisle a long time because wow, they never come because they're not there. They never come. My no. phone has died <laughs> at at Home Depot. <laughs> 95 percent of the time, and and I have to call. My fiance and he's like, "Are you okay in there?" I'm like, "I'm okay, babe." Uh, oh my god, does he come? He, well, sometimes, yeah. No, um, he he. I don't like anyone to go with me. Oh, I you like, like to do this solo. I like solo Home Depot. Um, solo I, IKEA. I I I kind of can't because it's the getting there and the, and the getting back. That's that's a little difficult. It's but, a project, but I but I pull it off. Okay, and it depends on um on how many things I'm going to get and. Uh, and and whether or not I can get an Uber XL back, or, right? Or I'm because well, you need the big Uber because you need you need the big one, or I'm going to let them uh, just 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 mouth fuck me with the price of a right. cab, right? Because uh, th- they make it very difficult. IKEA or the cab? I I the IKEA cab station. There's an IKEA cab There's station. There's an IKEA cab Brooklyn. station in Brooklyn because there has to be, right? Um, I because they know, yeah. They know. They they've know got, you don't have a car. They've got to deal with the devil. They know you don't have a car. And that devil is some sort of cab company with larger vehicles. Yes. And so it's more expensive. It's more expensive. Right. Um, so I'm like, huh. well, bed which is, you know, it should be like a, a $20 ride. And they're like, okay, $950. Right. And I'm like, okay. I kind of want this couch. Yeah. So, okay. So I have been to Ikea. Mm-hmm. I walk in. I'm already overwhelmed. Yeah. I follow. I like. You like you like the arrows. I like. I, I follow the arrows, but I get lost on numbered grid streets. I get lost <laughs> on the upper west side. I'm like, which way is down? And people look at me and go, down what? Down. <laughs> it, down Avenue? Down street. <laughs> it's like, where, which way do the numbers go They're down? Down. And then uh, someone points, and then I go that way. Yeah. Uh, so, or I go the other way because I've tricked them because I really want to go up. Uh, so, <laughs> do you ever do that? I do that a lot. Go up with, dire- with directions. Just, you're like, like just just ask someone, and then just go the other way. Go the other way. Which way's the sun? 
No, I'm going to go the okay. other way. I'm looking. And so, because I don't, I literally, there's a magnet in my brain mm-hmm. next to the compass also in my brain. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I have no sense of direction. And so I get lost all the time. <laughs> so walking into an Ikea mm-hmm. feels like that movie Open Water. I might as well be trapped in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> but I like stuff. Yeah. I like Target. Oh. Do you love a Target? Listen. <laughs> uh, shiny plastic items I'm on fleek. Target just came well last year they came out with uh, that Project uh, 62 collection Project 62. 62 what is that clothes no home home, home furnishings home shit home crap and they came out with so many things and I was like this is exactly what I'm into right now <laughs> and then I was like maybe you're not as Original and cool as you think you are. Because <laughs> look, because look here, here it is in mass production. All right. of these ideas that you were like, this would look great in the home. Right. And now they're like, yeah, you're just like everyone else. It's going to be eleven ninety nine, please. And Podium. you know what? Yep, you got it. You yep. got my eleven ninety nine. Ikea, you listen, when you come out with, with, with all your dark green things, I'm like, yeah, let's do this for this season. Dark greens and goals and moody rooms. I'm into that. Dark green's one of my favorite colors. It's a hunter, beautiful. A hunter, hunter green. green. That's one of my favorite yes. colors. Yes. Hunter green with, with pops of gold and cream and, and textures. Do you see these pillows? Yeah. What do you think of what do you think of a loose pillow on a couch? Are you a I, pro? This is, uh, I think, um, the first year I've, I've really gotten into pillows okay. in general. Um, so I have, uh, we've got very large pillows mm-hmm, on our mm-hmm. couch, like big, big, fuzzy, overstuffed. furry, overstuffed pillows. Oh, with like a, a, a chenille kind of no, fuzz? very just just come just come like uh, like a like a like a rich faux fur. Oh, very. And nice. we, but we also have them because we have a Turkish angora long, a cat. So, oh, so why not? So we basically have to <laughs> furnish our home like it so it looks like a giant cat. Right. So, <laughs> and there are times where we have lost the cat on the couch cuz it's cuz he pillows. just blends right it's in. Three pillows then. But I but I but I appreciate uh, a larger pillow. Okay. Um and then Get maybe cold. a smaller neck pillow somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but the other loose pillows on the couch make it very difficult because when you're on the couch, you're like, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this I wanna anymore. Sit. I want to sit. Uh, and then I've just learned the correct pillows for for the bed. Okay. This is this is my new thing. So I'm very into that. Now. So uh, a sort of accent pillows on on a on a made bed. Yeah, that that uh, um, uh, I did not know that there was such thing as as the 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 euro the euro sham, There's which euro is sham. which is larger. Um, yeah, the larger pillows that kind of go in the back. Oh. So, and when you're looking at a bed, and when they do bed staging, and then you get home, and you're like, "Why isn't? Why didn't? Why doesn't it look like the picture?" And you're like, "I didn't know about you. Didn't notice the Euro shams." I got a couple of words uh, that are that are that are pulling me out of the out of the moment. Yeah, bed staging, bed staging, and Euro bed dressing and Euro shams. Sham. Now, see how here <coughs> in my Joko Cruise room, mm-hmm. there's this little uh, pink thing on the bottom. Yes. Is that a sham? Um, this is a bed skirt. Bed skirt. And That's right. Also, we have just purchased our first bed skirt. I wanted to get an 18-inch bed frame mm-hmm. because I wanted to put things underneath it. And yeah, I also yeah. wanted to be able to get underneath it in case of emergencies. <laughs> I love an escape plan where everyone's going to look, by the yeah. way. Uh, people no, are gonna... I, I get that, but I'll, <laughs> but I'll be ready. <laughs> You'll be under there. I'll be ready. With a pokey stick with or a, something. With a pokey stick. You'd be like, no. Nope. That's what I, was, I It's a podcast, so I was just holding my hand in a backward shanking position. <laughs> right. In what I consider a pokey stick. A pokey of, stick. Yeah. Uh, we have a tall bed. Yeah. Because Andy Ashcraft uh, is a comic book guy. Yeah. And oh. he bought the frame specifically... So that comic book boxes go could fit underneath. underneath it. Yes. Yes. So we had a lot of long boxes. Yes. And um, we have thousands of comic books. When we moved in together, the comic book boxes kept coming in. And he saw my eyes just get super big. And he's like, you won't even see him. You won't even he's see like, him. You, listen, I got a plan. I got a plan. It's a beautiful plan. It isn't get, a bad get plan. Get a high bed. It's, it's, gone, it's gone a little bit. Uh, the com- 
since I started reading them, our comic book consumption has not doubled, but it has it's gone up. It's a beautiful up. thing. And it's it's just, we have too many comics. Can now, I ask so. you where you got your, uh, because it is very uh, difficult and expensive to find a bed skirt, I found out. You cannot just go to Target or We don't Ikea. have a bed skirt, but I'm kind of oh. interested in hiding the boxes and at it, some point. So I assume you have an 18-inch drop. Yeah, it's a tall... Yeah. Like there's like literally, I have to climb, climb onto the bed. I, I assume it's it's an it's an eighteen. I spent a lot of time looking for it in my other <laughs> favorite marketplace, Amazon. Oh, there you go. Do you enjoy? Are you a Prime member? Do you do you get the free? Mm, of course, I. Of course, am. you are. It's a hundred dollars. It's, it's almost like you've paid for shipping. Before. I complain a lot um, because because stuff doesn't get there on time, and I'm oh, like, right. well, some of this is like super important. Like it 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 matters what day it gets there. Mm-hmm. So they keep extending my Prime membership like months oh, and funny. months and months. I'm like, well, so you haven't you so paid much. in a while. No, uh, no. <laughs> nice great. work. Okay, so I'm in IKEA. My yes. favorite thing about IKEA, I will say this, mm-hmm. that makes me laugh about IKEA, are the fake TVs and computers. The cardboard. They're very good. There's a, a staging situation that's happening yeah. that makes me kind of want to sit on a moderately comfortable couch <laughs> and watch a pretend <laughs> television. Moderately comfortable for what you know is going to be about a month. Right. About a month. And then it just falls. It splinters. You feel like... <sighs> Yeah, they've they've got. I've, I think I've I've gotten a lot more uh, into are, the staging, the room staging. Yeah, because um, I would kind of just breeze through before and and be like, I know the things I want to get. Now I know the shortcuts, so I don't follow the arrows. Right, and then I I I, I, I go to the rooms I want to, and I'm like, hmm, what can I figure out from this room? What are I the want? things that are good to get I, at IKEA? Basics. Like we a have lot of a lot of uh, like get, kitchen kind yes. of basics. Like your your dishes, yeah. and your um, glassware. Glassware and- is amazingly cheap. Your dish your dish towels, those wonderful seventy nine right. cent jams. Oh, throw rugs, throw rugs. Uh huh. Um, yeah, but like full on, like you would have to do something like what you talked about. Uh, I do not know the Swedish word for the uh, vitsjo. <laughs> yes, for uh, for whatever you, this desk is. Yeah, and so but yeah, we've to, turned that into a project. You got to turn it into a project. We bought uh, the 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 Malm dresser, not the Malm. The Malm is but, there. Is there an M A L M? M A L M. But I'm umlaut or something over it. No umlaut. No but umlaut. I'm but I'm hacking. Yeah, um, and you know, bought different uh, different handles to put on it, and bought legs for it, and okay. uh, then had to learn about laminate, what, how to paint IKEA furniture. Very big deal. You can't just paint over it because it's laminate; it'll roll right off. Oh, right, because it's all plasticky. It's kinda. all plasticky. So you've got to sand the whole thing down, and then you have to buy a special primer. Right. The, uh, some hours and hours of research into this. <laughs> You're and like, then you and then you buy a primer and then you paint and then you sand it down again. Right. Um, You're going to be great after the zombie apocalypse cuz I'm, you I'm will have, very handy. You will have handy tools. Yeah. Me, I'm fashioned out of IKEA bits, ends and pieces. You there will be floatsum and jetsam <laughs> and you will build furniture in I the can. in the in the new world. I really I really enjoy you doing could. it. And, and then, you enjoy the the project part of it. Yes, and then taking extra pieces and then creating other things out of that. Be like I got some leftover like shelf bits we're not going to oh. use it. <laughs> and so I'm going to build myself this very slim vanity. <laughs> And I did yes. that. And then I took, you know, yeah. like glass tops from other pieces and then sure. put it on that. And I'm like, this is fantastic. Yes. Shelf bits. Shelf please, bits. Please write a, a how-to book called Shelf, Shelf Bits. bits. <laughs> I, like, I like crafting. And, yeah, sometimes yeah. Ikea uh, uh, takes away. It, I think that's where I was when I, when I first went there that I, that I was like, hey, you're just getting, you're going there, you're getting the thing and that's it. And I'm yeah. like, no, there's got to be. I bet that people are making all these things. Um, so our next oh, project, yeah, uh, our next project is um, uh, uh, built-ins. Oh, like bookshelves. Built-in bookshelves done with uh, with the with, with found Billy, IKEA. with Billy bookcases. Okay, and uh, and then you know, of course. Got to go back to Home Depot. Got to go back to Home Depot to fill out the hardware and uh, I'm, possibly I'm some extra wood. Right now, <laughs> it's exhausting. So sad. I, right. Uh, Andy Ashcraft is also kind of crafty yeah. in the way that he knows how to use things, glue guns, mm-hmm. your saws, uh, these, these type of items. Uh, wonderful. I don't, have, I don't have any of that. Uh, no. There was, a, as a child, the mantra of my father's, well, I don't have the right tools. We're going to have to hire someone. 
Yeah. And uh, so uh, there was some discussion of him buying the right tools and mm-hmm. then him going, yeah, no, I, there's, it'd be more expensive to buy the right <laughs> tools. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just call we'll someone. We'll just call someone. We'll just and, call uh, someone. And then he would... And then we would live in squalor. But, and then he would eventually, but it would be like the, the delay on that. I, 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 I like, I like all of that. You like to do all that. I like, I like, I like purchasing tools. I like having like a toolbox and, I and, have, um, and, I do and, have and a drills and an, and an orbital sander. Oh, okay. Oh, comes in very handy. Orbital sander. Yeah. What is, is, uh, Listen, does it, zzz, does it circle? It does, it does zzz, and it, and we brought it, that because. You brought it on the boat? No. We brought our orbital sander. <laughs> no. So that you could somehow adjust your camera. So we could adjust the things in the room so I could have it the way I wanted. Um, <laughs> no, we, we bought them because we um, well we were looking for benches for our table. So we got the benches from Ikea. Okay. But laminate. So we had to sand it completely off. Right. Re- and, then, um, and then I beat the shit out of them to make them look old. Distress. So, distress them. Just, uh-huh. just take everything in, in the house and just bang them, bang right? them the fuck up. And, uh, and then stain them. And uh, unfortunately, we did that 24 hours before Thanksgiving. Oh, shoot. And... Then had people over? The day came, and we were about to feed about 11 or 12 people, mm-hmm. and the benches were not dry. So it was the night, late night of... And we were like, what are we going to do? We cannot have the, like, sit, um, and he's and like, we floor? could just, and you know, God, he, you he's like, he's like, listen, we could just sit around the floor. I was like, we will have Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner at this table. I have a centerpiece. We- I have bought a runner. I've got <laughs> this candles. Right. There is fake gourds. We Things are happening. Listen. Um, and so we, we very, he, he uh, we, we started looking up. It was about 11 o'clock mm-hmm. at night. And I was before like. Before Thanksgiving. So the, the night Wednesday. before Thanksgiving. Yeah. And he was like, it says Target is open. And so we ran to Target and bought a shit ton of cheap chairs. Oh, foldable chairs. Foldable chairs. That was not where I thought you were going to go. I thought, here's what I thought. Hair dryer. We bought. A hair dryer. <laughs> did, no, did blow on the No, bed. it wasn't going to work because okay. um, so we couldn't do it inside because we have this. We have our cat, right. and our cat can't oh. brush up against this because he'd be brown he, forever. He is, he is right, and um, and so we have to do it outside, and it's cold outside, so it's not really helping. Right, because you live in winter. We live in winter, right. and there's nowhere to plug in. <laughs> Like we can't be out there <laughs> at like midnight with right. a hair dryer. Yeah, people are sleeping, man. People have lives to lead. Yeah. So yeah, and of course I'm. I was so sad because I'm like, you know, I had planned it. This to was going to be the perfect bench for people to yes. sit at, and people are going to be like, look at these beautiful benches. They were going to say that. Here's what I here, now. As much as I love what's been described here, yeah, I gotta sit with a back. So a bench, no back, right? Yeah, open. Bench. No, it's good. It is. It's good. It's it's more comfortable uh, uh, than, 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 than I'm picturing. I wanted. I wanted. To, yeah, they're 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 wider benches. Oh, um, there's a little, there's there's a good Possibly solid a... table to lean on. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's no. no, it's now, good. Okay, now here let's go back a little bit with yeah. the with the repurposing of uh, the the sanding. Yeah. Is it is it a large sander? Like, because if you have to sand a big item, it's going to mm-hmm. take hours, right? Yeah, it just takes hours. Okay, fair enough. Okay, noted. It noted. Takes, it takes and a lot. Do you buy stain? Like people talk about staining things. Yeah, I have so many stains. You go to you go to Home Depot. You go to a hardware store. I go to a hardware store. You or buy I go to Home stain. Depot. Yeah, it's called stain. Yes. Different yes. colors of stain. Different colors of stain. You can go with sort of a. I don't. I don't know. An my, orange or yeah, a black my, or brown? my favorite. Well, my favorite has been uh, uh, any kind of uh, dark woods. Um, it's either pronounced Jacobim <laughs> or, or I, I started saying Jacobim. <laughs> or, all right. It's uh, uh, but it's my favorite mini wax stain. It's a mini wax. Mini wax stain. So there's uh, the sanding. Yeah, and then uh, the primer. The, you can you can uh, or you can get a stain that that are, that already kind of does that. Or depending what kind of look you're going for, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like there's some things I don't like it's things to, to look, look really like clean. Wood? Yeah, you well, like a rustic. Yes, yeah, so you get you can get some some crap wood. Yeah, 
and uh, with, a, with you know your your pine or whatever you're going to do with it. Just a particle board. And yeah, and just a particle board. <laughs> just a nice... Don't don't stay in particle <laughs> boards. You can... Oh, don't don't listen. Don't listen to Jack. <laughs> uh, that is uh, that could also be the theme of the show, <laughs> especially when speculative Jackie speculates about oh any number of things, including craft. <laughs> She's like mm, particle board then, and so, just a piece of paper, Jean. <laughs> just stay in this. Like you you had, with this ream of paper, if you could you just guys, stay in this. Where'd you guys get that thin wood? That's crazy. <laughs> it's made out of trees, right? You could stay in something. That is very fair. <laughs> very fair. It would also be very wet. <laughs> Super wet that would never dry, possibly. Never dry. <laughs> but it would ever stiffen up at all and oh, maybe hey. stack it on top of itself. Yeah. Um, no, so pine <laughs> what, is what we're yeah, talking pine. about. Yeah, and, pine. And, Just a basic. It's, 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 it's basic and it's soft. Okay, and so if you're doing any any kind of like you know let me let me beat it. I mean I I we've been looking for a lumber yard near us because I'm like there's there's some pieces that I'm like I just don't want to get IKEA pine yeah like there's some stuff that I'm like let's make something that we actually keep forever yeah yeah um and that you know means something to us mm-hmm. um but for all the it. other stuff and and you know being renters. You're like there's there's some stuff like I, un, unless I know we're definitely buying this place yeah like. Why fix it? When I used to rent, I would occasionally cut things on the counter by the sink yeah. instead of a cutting board. Because you don't and care. And I was like, no, I rent. And then uh, now we have we have our, our lovely – we have a, a tract house in Van Nuys. It Ooh. looks like a house from the Monopoly board. And it is adorbs. All kinds of adorable. I'm like, it's green and it doesn't have any doors or it's windows. Yellow. It's yellow. Uh, it's so, so cute. It's super cute. And it's um, adorable. I want one. It's just a two bedroom, one bath, and um, 966 square foot house. That's adorable. On a big yard. Big yard. See, but orange that, tree. That, that makes orange tree. What? Lemon tree. Trees in a yard. Trees in a yard. A big space for a vegetable garden that we grow every year because we are at war. Mm-hmm. Victory garden. Mm-hmm. Got a plant. Mm-hmm. And plus, I love tomatoes. That's and beautiful. Uh, yeah. So it's a it's a beautiful existence. Very grateful. Yeah. Uh, but now I'm like, gotta use a cutting board. And you do have to yeah. use a cutting board. I have. Plus, uh, I'm not an animal, so I should probably yes, use a cutting board. Yes, you should use anywhere. a cutting board. Yeah, at any time. Two, two, two different, uh, different cutting boards? I have, have cutting boards? I have different cutting boards. I have the plastic one yes. for the meats and such. Mm-hmm. And then I got a wooden one yep. for um, things that aren't meat. Things that aren't that, meat. That are sometimes, I'm like, I'm going to use this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, plastic, and then uh, and then two different cutting boards, and and one large one, so I can do fancy. Be like, cut it, and I'm also serving on it. Right. My mother in law has like this giant. I don't know what kind of wood it is. It's not pine. It's a super it's a, heavy. It's, a, it's just it's just a laminate particle board. It's just a. a it's paper that she stained. <laughs> paper. She stained it. Uh, it's a notebook. <laughs> it's a notebook. That's what it's a it composition has. notebook <laughs> that just has a, a knot drawn in oh. it. Oh, it looks like kind of wood. She just drew like a wooden <laughs> tree knot in the middle. She of it. She just wrote the word wood on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, if they sold that at IKEA, I'd be like, "This is so cool!" <laughs> right? And I would buy it. You would buy it because I am a fool. Right? They got me. What about curtains? What do you know about curtains? I, uh, I am this year. Uh, I, I started making my own curtains. Oh, really? Do you have I, a sewing machine? I don't have a sewing machine. A sewing machine is what I'm going to get. For That's, myself okay. this year, because mm-hmm. I realize where things are going, and I'm like, right. <laughs> clearly, you're just you're doing this pioneer thing, and yes. you know, um, you're gonna need next. I'm gonna go blind right. and start eating, uh, uh, curing venison, and oh. really take it back to the old days. Oh, fantastic! Um, I like that my reference for the old days was Mary Ingalls just now. Right, that um, That's not what my people were doing. We no. had a very different time. Yeah, it was a different time, sadly. <laughs> that was that was a time that will never. <laughs> it's uh, where did, well, what did we start talking about? Just now? <laughs> well, we were talking about sewing curtains. Oh, sewing curtains. There we go. <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, I I kept looking for the curtains that I wanted, and I realized that they were going to be very very expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, what are the curtains that you uh, wanted? Well, I I, I wanted. I, Different things for for every window, but yep. for upstairs, I was really looking for some uh, the first uh, it iteration of the bedroom before I changed my mind about sure. what it was going to look like. Um, I wanted these really long striped vertical black and white striped curtains. Oh wow! Um, 
and and what's my, the feng shui on that? My my first uh, uh, idea for the bedroom was like um, a glam Parisian, but oh. like a glam Parisian art gallery. But it but it looked like it was very comfortable. But mm-hmm. like you knew someone had done like a lot of cocaine. In there. <laughs> Excellent. So like blacks and Bright whites, lights, but then pops city, of colors, but more Parisian and like golds. And so I I spent two months looking for the curtains, mm-hmm. and because uh, I I one I didn't the ones that I wanted were really expensive. Yeah, like curtains, curtains because are, you got to go. Uh, 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 you need like well, I needed a um, a ninety a ninety six length. Oh wow! Because I'm also not an animal, and I don't hang my curtains from directly above the window. You got to raise the height, <laughs> right? You got to bring it to the ceiling. Got to bring right? it to the with ceiling a, with a curtain rod. Yes, I like a curtain rod. I love a curtain rod. Yeah, and I, I, would, I, I love imagine. a double curtain rod. Double curtain rod. So like a uh, a layer of something of a little like more blackout? sheer, or the sheer a sheer, and then a layer of thick, so you can open. The other ones during the day and have something in the background, and you don't just have one. You know, op- I like options. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think of this? Here's what I want right now. Uh, we've lived in this house long time. Yeah, long time for us not to have curtains up in the kitchen. Long time. Thirteen. Are, are you just being indecisive about the curtains, or no, no? We uh, we don't do anything. Okay. Uh, much like my father, uh, I think to myself, who can I hire? And then not hire. Jackie, no. I know. So here's what's happened. Andy's like, we have to block the sun in some way. Uh, so oh, he God. has hung some shades. <laughs> like are, Roman shades? They are just uh, rolling, bring them down, they stick. You okay. know the thing? So they're not bad. They're, okay. they're, they're better than, but, they, but the kitchen window is one big window. Right. And then there's a side window. And then there's a tiny window above well, the sink. Right? Right. So... You guys mm-hmm. need, um, and, and which is what I need, is specially sized yes. curtains. So I had to buy my own fabric. And then... And if you don't want to use a sewing machine, what you're going to do is uh, go to any crafting store online and get yourself some fusible hem. Oh, fusible hem. Fusible hem. And all you need is an iron and a okay. wet cloth. And do some measuring. Like sort of double stick tape, but for it's cloth. like du- it's yeah. And and you you put it on the back and you iron it. And here are your wonderful new curtains in the fabric that you wanted at the size that you want, just for you. No one else has them. This right and this two curtain rod business is kind of what I yep. want in the kitchen because I want, you know, that cute ruffle thing on mm-hmm. the top of mm-hmm. a kitchen. Of of I uh, want a valance, valance, a valance. There we go. It's yeah, some sort of ruffle thing. Yeah, probably called a valance or a valance. Yes, and then I want long curtains. Yeah, so that we uh, don't have to uh, squint while we eat breakfast. So double curtain rod, double curtain rod, double and then rod. Uh, the valance or uh-huh. valance, uh-huh. and then and then a long curtain. So I think you're right though, because I was talking to a friend of mine who knows about. She knows about cur- she knows about curtains. She knows about curtains. Um, she said, "Yeah, that's expensive." And it so, is. Um, far far cheaper. Well, get the inside. You can you buy a sheer rods, one, though. Oh, but that's so easy. That's easy. It's very easy. He said because it actually goes against a wall and then curves. because oh. the windows are essentially a whole corner of the room. Okay, so they sell those. You okay. Can, you can you can find it. Okay. You can also do um, probably more Home Depot than IKEA though. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Oh no. 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 IKEA curtain rods are fantastic. IKEA curtain. IKEA rods. curtain rods. They're very cheap. Um, and I I bought all sorts of of other curtain rods and then got there and then I was like, well, these are like four ninety nine. What yeah. have I been doing? <laughs> and they have other I, IKEA is interesting because they have other systems. So you can do the straight curtain rod. They have a double curtain rod. They have many sizes, or if you have something that needs to be a, a corner, yeah, what you can do is get the wire, and so it goes into the ceiling, and then the wire goes around, and you can uh, place all of your your pieces exactly where you need them, so it can with move. like hooks kind with, of thing. It's yeah, it's like a like a, like a hook a, and, and, and wire system, and the then they go directly into the ceiling. Shower curtain, like that, bit. but better looking, obviously. Better better looking and. Um, if if yeah if you've got a room that doesn't allow for those you know for curtain rods yeah. or, or curved then you can pretty much you know uh, configure them any way you want to. All IKEA. right. 
IKEA curtain rods. This actually um, how's this going for you? I is, feel like we're solving. I things. think. Well, that's the important thing too is yeah. for me because then what I can do is I can turn around and tell Andy, and he's yeah. willing to go to IKEA. And uh, you but, can get those. You can get those online. You can get them on Amazon. Um, it's just because yeah, we have odd spaces and odd like uh, corners and turns. How and, things are shaped are very yeah. It's, it's, it's not it's not the same. Yeah, all the time. And so you got to figure out what works for your space. But what do you do for floor? What do you do? Uh, do you do a, a rug situation? Do you have hardwood? What do you? Man, we could talk about so much. Um, th- <laughs> we, have, we have another fifteen we, minutes. <laughs> we have we have hard we have hardwood floors. Okay. Um, because old Brooklyn apartment building, right? No, relatively new. Oh, relatively new, like uh, maybe maybe about ten or so years old. And we oh, have cool. um, uh, a, a a great situation. We have a, a a duplex. Okay, and um, so two bathrooms, nice. and then up up and down, and um, and a backyard. Oh, that's and, awesome! And for Brooklyn, you're like, yes, that's this amazing. Is, this is the dream, right? Um, it's it's. Like yeah. a real, it's like it's it's yeah. it's it's coming home to like your your little tiny tiny house where you can be peaceful. Yes, yeah. Um, Which is the biggest problem for me uh, for New York because it's it's we we it's live intense. in very noisy areas, and this is um, it's it's wonderful to be quiet. Yeah, like when you know which it, of the neighborhoods in Brooklyn do you live? We're in, in Bed Stuy. Bed Stuy. Mm-hmm. We're about a block away from uh, from the park. Like we 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 love our neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. very much. It's yeah. I uh, my friend, I would occasionally house sit. She had a. I decided probably twenty years ago that mm-hmm. I would only live in Manhattan with a doorman building, which means Woo. that I will not be living. Yeah, in New York. <laughs> I I wouldn't go back. It, you wouldn't go back to Manhattan? I wouldn't go back. I grew up in Manhattan. Um, Did you grow up in Manhattan? Yeah. I grew up in uh, in Chelsea. In Chelsea, uh, okay. In, in, in the Chelsea Hotel. So, Did you get gonna... to go in that the locked... Isn't there a park that has a lock on it? The um, the the roof? Uh, no, it's... Oh, uh, oh the, the park. The, what, Gramercy? Yeah, Gramercy. It's a John Wilkes no, Booth's brother. No. No, no, I'm good. Did you walk by that? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, uh, I spent, I spent all, uh, mo- uh, you know, uh, till my mid twenties in there. Manhattan. And I'm like, I, I, I considered moving back. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I. Why would I do that? My friend Jenny, whose apartment that I would stay at, who had a doorman building, it was her grandmother's apartment. It was mm-hmm. on eighty sixth and Amsterdam. Beautiful, uh, very nice. Mm-hmm. And she just took the buyout. Oh, yep. L- last year. We uh, we took a buyout as well. Yeah, and yeah. bought a place yeah. in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah, but, there's, there's there's a lot of that uh, yeah. Bronx thing that still couldn't convince me to do that. Right. Well, and the weird thing is, is she owns a toy store mm-hmm. on 84th in Amsterdam. Really? I would not have So moved. she has to travel every day? Yeah. No, I would not a have A block moved. and a half. No, get out of here. She would walk to work every no. day. And now she has to take the one or the A or the whatever the hell that whatever is. Whatever goes. Yeah, up and down on the far. west side. Yeah. Uh, up no. a, another f- 40 blocks I'm or whatever. I'm just going to keep saying no. <laughs> exactly. And um, granted, she, because she does had a she beautiful love, one bedroom. Does she love her new place? She does love her new place. And so it's been worth it. And it is super quiet. Okay. But w- uh, how loud is 86 How loud Amst- was that? 86 in Amsterdam. Pretty what is quiet. it? Joggers? Joggers so loud with their with their cement shoes. Barty Greengrass keeping with you their, down. What's going on? <laughs> the <laughs> tap dance troupe. What was happening? Out Is there, there some expensive Hoofs, fish that's holding your butts? <laughs> anyway, but flooring, flooring. Talk to me about it. Yeah. What do you What do you do? Um, I I this is the first also the first year that I that I invested in good rugs. Because I don't like shitty rugs. Uh, yeah, I, it was, and I was like, it "We're gonna spend some junky. money." It does, and and I think things have changed. I think I was fine before. Yeah, and um, and it was okay to get a, a a big rug from IKEA, and then I was like, "No, no, you deserve a good rug. <laughs> you deserve. So you do deserve a beautiful wool. Take rug. a minute. Take a minute. Take a minute. Find with it. hardwood yeah. for a while. Save and we up. did. And we did good, and we saved up. And um, did you go with sort of a uh, like a Turkish, yes, uh, Persian? I wanted, yeah, 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 Persian, Persian rugs and, what and wool. Uh, uh, did you go one dark of them, or did you go light? 
One of them is because uh, um, there's there's a lot of lights, uh, like cream things, but then a lot of dark woods. Right. Um, and then we have a, a hunter green kind of accent wall nice. with uh, uh, kind of gold pops. It it feels like um, I, I didn't I didn't know that I was doing this, but everyone was like, "This feels like we're like going glamping or something." Like it's real cozy, <laughs> yes, but it's warm and, and woodsy, right? Um, so the dark one is like a lot of uh, uh, like pops of red and Excellent. pops of green and, and and blue, but then there's a bit of cream in it. So much much darker, and that's under the dining table, which is also a dark wood. A dark wood, yeah. And then uh, the couch area, we have uh, these uh, a, a very large uh, like off white kind of cream couch. Yeah. And a, and a, a Ooh, matching gutsy seat. stuff with a cat. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, leather. Okay. Oh, good. So, oh, so just, stays. So he can fuck it up even more. Exactly. Which is not, <laughs> but he would fuck so it up. Because he, he can rip the shit out of exactly, that Exactly, because he's not declawed. Yeah. Probably. No. no. Um, and then that, that, that's our bigger rug. Um, and it's rug, more cream colored? It's more cream colored, but like creams, browns. Okay. Like some some golds and reds and stuff and and it it's it's warm. Yes. It's warm but it's it, it's on the cool side of the room. Excellent. So, yeah. And rug placement very important. How so? Do you put it there are new rules about rug placement. So, new rules. Uh, you know, uh, not it doesn't have to go necessarily under the legs of everything. So it goes under the legs of the couch, mm-hmm. but there's still room um, by the, the the I guess the bigger chair that it do, it just it just brushes up against the edge of that. Okay, it doesn't have to go under the chair. No. Okay. No. What do we do? We do. It's under the. We have a coffee table. Yes, and then, just yeah, in out. the middle. In the middle, mm-hmm. and it's under that. Mm-hmm. We have this very nice. It's a very nice rug, but we've had it a little too long, and it was a little too bright. Oh. And it will not sustain. Yeah. And because we don't clean it often enough and it's yeah. not. I think we have to start over with the rug. Uh, this is the sad story I was going to tell you, but I understand. Is it? We didn't. Uh, our, our rug was shedding too much. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we're is starting it, over. Yeah, start over. Start over on big rug. Is it the root? Did you go with almost a room size rug or did you yeah. go with? Okay. Because yeah. we went with smaller area rug. Yeah. My grandmother had two amazing rugs uh, that she do you, bought. Do you still? Does she have them? Do no, you? My have siblings them? got them. It's uh, but my we grandfather. Gotta go get those rugs. I know. I'm a little jealous of the rugs, uh, just because I love. Because you, when you're a kid, yeah, on a oh. rug, oh. and you're playing because it's an Can oriental you're laying rug on a rug. Yeah, and you're, you're following the, the maze. Yeah. So, but my grandfather, very funny. Uh, we spent four thousand dollars on each of these rugs in nineteen forty five. That's some real ass shit. Right That's some there. serious cash. That's very real. One of the rugs didn't fit in one of the living rooms. Mm-hmm. My grandfather, showing the genetics right away, lopped off a corner of the <gasps> rug. You're like, hey ding dong. Hey Rockefeller, what are you thinking? And uh, so my brother Russ got uh, sort of the nicer of the two rugs. And then my sister Darla. What happened to that the, piece of the rug? Uh, I'm sure he threw it away oh like my. a monster. I have no idea. I, I never <laughs> really met him. Uh, he was he died when I was very little. Wow. But my grandmother would show it to us and go, oh. and <laughs> just beat her up. Just, just every couple of days, just walk <laughs> into the room and look at For it and be 60 like, sixty years. <sighs> what was he thinking, Tavi? That. What are you nuts? I can't believe he anyway. did that. Yeah. So, but that, I mean, that's always been the rug that I wanted, but Andy thinks it's a little too dark for our house because there's not enough, the curtains are really dark. We have one red accent wall Mm -hmm. and then we have these red curtains Mm -hmm. that desperately need to be replaced. Yeah. And well, maybe it's just about replacing the curtains. You know what? It might be. Because then it would brighten that, the whole room. It, up. it would brighten the whole room up if you just opened up that space and kind of took down that like that red on red, and then we're like, let's let all the things live in the rug. What do you think? Could we do this? <laughs> Could we do a pattern? Uh, well, a pattern is fine. Is the fact is is the sun is so bright in Los Angeles. Blackouts. Yeah. Like yeah. if we did half of it, where because I, I like if we had yellow curtains or yeah. something bright. Yeah. It wouldn't stop the sun. 
No. But if it had this other side that was like a blackout mm-hmm. kind of thing on so one side. So do you guys like to leave the, the, curtains, the, wind, closed. the curtains closed all day? Yeah. Well, not, well, one side's open. Okay. And then, but the side that's on our computer side. So they're going to be closed. Yeah, are all closed. So, but I would love them to be bright. But if, but you don't think it's tacky to do like a, a blackout side so that it would stop the sun from coming in? No. But it would still brighten up the room. No, that's fine. Right. It's our house. It's we your there. house. You're inside. <laughs> You're right. inside of it. It'd let it be uh, pleasing to you from the inside that every time you look over there, you're like, I fucking love those curtains. Yes. That's what it should feel like. All right. It should be functional and you should be like, man. Son of a... I look at that choice that I made. What a good choice. I am doing bright curtains with some sort of blackout sort of yeah, thing no. to... Let's stop the sun on the other side. It's going to be great. You're going to be so excited that you did that. But so our neighbors will look and they'll see this. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> right. They're Rick. But, they're nice people. But oh, that's and they'll be fine. And they'll be. But fine. you're going to look and see like this. It it's going to be like a a, a a great work of art. Yes. Like it's it should be art. Okay. All the time. Yes. For you. It's, right. it's enjoyable for you. Aesthetically. Yeah. For the inside of our brain boxes. For you, for you guys. This is where we live. Yeah. I have to tell you something, Jane Dre. You've, you've done vital work here. <laughs> I, really, I hope so. <laughs> you've, re, you've freed me up. This was good. I'm so I, glad um, Ikea got picked because it got into so many other oh, yeah. wonderful it's a, things. It's, a bu- it's great. Now, what people should know, of course, is that it's at Jean Greasy mm-hmm. on Twitter. And Everything's Fine is coming out March 30th. Uh, me and Quale have an album coming out March 30th. There is, uh, um, there, uh, there, videos are already out. Videos are out. We're in at, the future. On the YouTube page? Or? We're in the future. Or just look for them, you guys. Just Google it. You can do it. Just Google it. Just Google Jean, G-R-A-E. Yeah. Jean Grey. Look for it. And, um, and Quelle. And it's, if you Google Everything's Fine, video, and then hit the video tab, you guys. Yeah. L- l- let me talk tab. you through this. No, you're doing great. <laughs> Rangers, they, they, they got the chops. Hit to Images, you. and then search through <laughs> all of the images for Everything's Fine until you get to page 37. <laughs> When you get to page 37, There'll there's going to be a cat. Picture. There's going to be a cat, a moving cat. And he's going to be like meowing, everything's fine, right meow. And then you click on that cat. Now what you're going to do is, uh, what you're going to want to do is print up a picture of that cat. Uh, the instructions will be in, in visible ink. So I, I think you know where <laughs> to get. Lemon juice. Get yeah, some lemon get juice. Get some lemon juice. Reveal and, the uh, ink. And uh, the URL will be right there. Thank you so much for doing this program. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> and Rangers, uh, you know the rules out there. Take care of each other. My hat, my hat, my hat. They're dancing around my hat. <laughs> my hat, my hat, my hat. Well, what do you think of that? If it looks like a Mexican hat dance and it sounds like a Mexican hat dance, it's most likely a Mexican hat dance. So take off your hat and let's dance. Yay! Oh, my God. We, why don't we just call that as the end of the show?